Combo presents. God damn, look at that. Like that landscape just there is all pretty. Oh, the sun. Sun is always beautiful. They did a really good job. Holy shit. Oh, somebody's done. Somebody got in a car accident. Jeff. Are you okay? I can't feel my legs. Don't worry, Jeff. I'll go get help. This is the worst headache ever. But I think I'm all right. It's getting dark. Better get the flashlight out of the trunk. I hurt my head. My flashlight, pick it up. Yeah. Jeff, man, you all right? Oh God, Jeff is dead. Don't worry, Jeff, I'll find help. Yeah, he did. He looked dead. Run! Wait, where did you go? Our drill massacre. Where'd you all fall up the road from? Designed by Bendito Kokozula. Kokozula. I probably butchered that. I deeply apologize. Run for the woods. That, that looks like a building in the distance. Maybe I can use the phone. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Holy shit. That will hurt my head. Up and over. This is a really pretty clearing, though. Look at the sky. The sky looks all pretty. Oh, damn. And in building? What a creepy old shed. It's boarded up. How creepy is it? Oh, it's creepy enough they put a pentagram on the back. Looks like some kids drew a pentagram back here. Yeah, no shit. So are we dealing with ghosts or demons? I love having to deal with demons. Wow, it's windy today. The good thing you're wearing your scarf there, Megan. Run, run, run.
Oh boy. Trail's getting narrower. Oh shit, trail's really good. Oh, that a cuckoo clock? <laughs> Hello? Yes. This, this is definitely a smart idea. Let's go into the abandoned looking factory. Megan, dear, there there have been some pe people who have done stupid things, but I think this might just take the cake. The door's open. Should it go inside? Oh, but yeah, we won't get through the game if you don't. And now the door's locked. Well, shit. I see everything. Oh, what's in here? Looks like a key. Pick it up. Yes. You got a key with red paint splattered on. Oh, Looks like an article ripped out of a newspaper. Read it. Yep, sure. The search continues for two missing camp. Shut up! I'm trying to read. The search continues for two missing campers in the Pocono Mountains. Mason S. Sargent and Lori Summers of Long Island, New York, have been missing since June 8th. Their campsite and belongings have been collected, but investigators have few leads. Police say that there's no visible signs of struggle, and this continues to be a rescue mission. The rest is missing. The rest is missing. It's dated August 1982, five years ago. It's 1987. What the hell was chasing me before, though? Run, 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 bitch, run! Damn it. Can't see when it gets all red! The locked metal door, I feel like I'm being watched here. Well, considering the fact that I died three times now, I kind of, I, I'd, I'd have to agree with you, Meg. I think we're being watched. Another locked door. Sugar tunnel. That door just opened. Oh, we're good. Down the stairs we go. Sugar tunnel. <laughs> oh, fuck this. Uh.
Your wacky Willy's footsteps are not helping here, Meg. This looks like it goes further down. Nope. Dead end. This way? Another dead end. Listen for footsteps. Megan, stop walking! Oh. Or wait, is this the way we came? Yeah, this is the way we came. Or maybe not. It was one stairs, but now it's not. Ooh. <laughs> oh, here we go. Looks like a newspaper. Yeah, read it. Randomville, too close. August 15th, 1981. After a series of accidents, the Brandwell Sawmill will be shut down later this month by regulators who speak to lease the land to State Park Commission. But some residents say the grounds are cursed after decades of mishaps, fires, and deaths. It's ripped. Maybe I can find the rest. Looks like the third part part of the newspaper. Yeah. Rem re what remained of the building was covered, converted into the Brandon Sawmill since opening. Seven workers have lost their lives due to what so state officials call a pattern of nearly criminal negligence in effort to cut costs. Mill managers, on other hand, blame industrial sabotage for accidents caused by faulty equipment, mostly rope and harness failure. Somebody made the cuts in these ropes said manager Bob Gibb. Just enough so we won't notice, but enough so they would snap during use. State inspectors have found no evidence of tampering. Looks like the second... Oh, I read that weirdly. The original building of the Sunshine Children's Orphanage was built by Russell Moore, the exotic millionaire, Inventor who rose to fame during World War II and later committed suicide after an allegations of child abuse inside the factory. Mort left no will and the property was fortified to the state which left it abandoned until the fire in 1975. And then they turned it you know, into the sawmill it is. Checking every fucking corner before I turn. Okay, so this place was once an orphanage. That they turned into a sawmill. This is the other side of the metal door. It's too heavy for me to open. So he's getting around using the doors. Oh, through this little maze system. So this is 
technically where he likes to chill. I don't even want to know what that noise was. Oh, this is going to get bad. Oh, what the shit? Dead end. Uh... Oh my god. We could just walk backwards and not make a single foot sound. Oh wait. Was that a dead end? Or did I just hit the door weird? Yeah, no. This is a dead end. Shit's breaking. We're going this way. Or halfway. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of getting a little bit turned around here. There's another door. Another door. Who's crying? Hello? I didn't see anything shine to indicate that we can interact with it. I don't know about you guys. the door. Oh, I don't think so. Door's too heavy. Door's probably gonna still be too heavy. <laughs> another door, another door. Just 
take us in a whole fucking circle? Okay. <laughs> Gotta love all the forks in the road. Oh, this might be a good sign. Goddamn! One might say running is a bad idea. I say fuck you. Well, this looks different. This door is locked. There's, but there are three locks with spiral points on it: blue, green, and red. So that's what. Damn. So that's what the keys are for. Okay. So we need the keys to get the fuck out of here. Oops. My bad. Sugar tunnel. Looks like a key. Pick it up. Yes. Okay, so we got the key with the blue paint. Okay. So not only do we have to find these keys, we also have to remember now how the hell to get out of the sugar tunnel. Which is fan fucking tastic. No! Oh. Ran into the surprise room again. So can I put the green? We used the key. Okay, good. Cool. So I can put the keys in the doors. Okay. There's a note tucked into the... Oh, yes. My name is David At... 
Ashford. My address is 3656 Caribbean Hollow Road, Deer Creek, Massachusetts. I think I'm gonna die here. I'm hiding this note and hope somebody will uncover it and know the truth about what happened to us. Somebody came to our campsite in the middle of the night and doesn't seem like this note was finished. I'm gonna just take a quick guess and say you got killed. Fucking Jeff had to get us in a goddamn car accident. Trying to get me killed. Thank you for the demon visuals. It's locked, somebody locked it. Did I somehow walk in a circle? Wait now, how did I walk in a circle? Locks left. Yeah, and I'm dead. Demon symbols. Got one door's open. Ah, we're here again. In our deck. Oh, hey, what's this? Another newspaper. Yes. The beginning is faded. I can't read it. She's my little girl. We just want her back. Wilbur said in a tearful plea. According to the Wilbur's, Christine was playing near the business bushes towards the edge of the campsite. We called her for dinner and she just wasn't there anymore. Police are looking at all possibilities. Wildcat attacks are pretty common in this area, said Sergeant Bailey. But her parents think that she was abducted. There was no bear or cat. We don't see any animals. Somebody grabbed her. Somebody took her from us. That's all it says. Oh! Well then, Jesus! Oh, what the fuck? Every time I find something new out, he comes out right at that door. I wonder if I keep my flashlight off. If, 
It's like a he can't see the light, I can't see him type deal. Oh, that was creepy. What the fuck is this? Green sploosh. Oh, it goes further down. Oh, what the fuck is this? I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, hammer. Yes, grab the hammer. Hammer some knives. I don't think these are enough to defend myself. How are they not enough? Throw the hammer, stab the bitch. Whoever lives here seems to have the mind of a child. Something horrible happened on the, in this bed. Who told you that? Is it the blood, the the sock, the teddy bear, the skeleton? Probably the probably the teddy bear. I think somebody still sleeps here. Yeah, the teddy bear. It's an old worn piano. I never learned how to play in school. Why start now? Just a dresser with and items for a tea party. The pile of decaying flesh, I think, is sick. Somebody tried to flush a bone down the toilet. How gross is this fridge? Oh shit! Uh... Oh, shit, we're alive! And he... took all of our clothes? Hey! Hey, man! Let me out! Oh, 
the lake of fire. This is the second death. Power drill massacre. Wait, that's the end? Well, that was a uh, thing. So, if we piece everything together, the dude is either an orphan who was abused at that orphanage before they turned it into a lumber mill that went back to the lumber mill because it was a good hiding spot since they got closed down because of all the uh, fires and deaths and accidents and everything which i'm probably guessing he had something to do with maybe probably and then after that since he already had that murderous rage in him from like the abuse from the orphanage and <clears throat> You know everything he was doing at the lumber mill killing everybody sabotaging and everything which i'm guessing probably again it probably was what he was doing probably since he already had that murderous rage in him he just started abducting people and killing them or waiting because megan decided to go in <laughs> and try to call for help since they drove off the road and everything he just thought, hey, easy pickings. But the really decent story. And that was a really good game, too. Um, yeah, that was a good game. It was a really good game. Holy shit. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. If you guys did enjoy this video and the, I'm guessing, bad ending to Power Drill Massacre. Maybe there's a good ending where we find all the keys and get out. There is, I'll try to, I'll play it again and try to find it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if I'm missing something. But yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff is always up in the channel or above. Thank you guys so much for watching. Swear Team is out.